So today we're going to take a look at AERS Innovator 11, the latest release of AERS Innovator. Right now we're logged in as Terry Adams. Terry has taken a look. He's the project owner for a couple projects we have going in at our company. And you can see here that there's uh, one project that's already completed. We have another project that's in work and is progressing through its, its life and workflow. And then we have several others that are going to be active but have not been started on yet. Let's just take a quick look at a completed project to see what that looks like. So here when we look at project management with Aris Innovator, a couple things come to mind immediately. The real advantage here, we follow standard project management techniques and use them and automate as much as possible for you. What you're seeing here, any red text has been calculated as a critical path. And again, this is a completed project, but what you see here is that the real advantage is that we have the actual work product that was the result of these activities attached to this project. Again, down here, the project is broken up into work breakdown structure and activities. So those activities can have multiple tasks associated with them. Up at the top here, we can see we automatically calculate the phases based on the work breakdown structure. We also support having templates so that you can have a template that uh, project managers use for creating or instantiating new projects from that. And those projects can also have template documents attached to them also, the calculation of the percent complete on the phases is done automatically for us. We also have a team concept for the projects. So there are roles. When we use a project template to create a project, then we add people's names. We actually add users to the roles. That automatically filled in my project plan for me. And then as people progress through the project, they are attaching the actual deliverables here. The deliverables, in this case, uh, we saw the example of a completed project of deliverables. Here we can take a quick look at what was the actual market research document that was a result of what uh, Manish has done for us. So now we're looking at an actual document. So this is the document type container for managing files. They have full history. We do have an integration with a uh, connector to Microsoft Office that in this case let me use a template document to create these off the Office PowerPoint file and it automatically generated the viewable which is a PDF. So a couple things with Aris Innovator 11 is that we can enable something called visual collaboration so that we have the ability to comment on documents. We also have the ability to view the documents and add comments. So if I wanted to, if I thought there was something we needed to modify about this file, I could go in here and actually mark it up, either with highlighting or with a markup. You know, if I, I find an issue, and I can add a comment that said, and then this becomes part of the collaboration or the conversation that we're having about this document. It is a capability that is pervasive through the product for, for 11. The visual collaboration, we allow you to do that on multiple types of files and viewables. Here we can also see the other types of deliverables that we can have on, in this case, a project activity is an actual top level assembly in this case. So this is the actual product that this project is working on. So we can actually look at the, the assembly itself. Here you can see it's at Rev A in a preliminary state. We can see the entire bill of material the bomb structure, and we're going to take a, a closer look at all the, the capabilities and all the relationships that we have for parts in a little bit. But I just want, again, to emphasize on project management, we can look at deliverables, tasks, percent complete, the actual schedule itself, and a lot of this is automated for you through the software. We can look, if you're more comfortable looking at projects with a Gantt chart type display, we can do that. You can change the scale. We can also very quickly look at the details on the items. The way these things for project management show up for the users, when that time, when the plan start date comes up, they're actually going to get that activity, what they're supposed to do for that particular project in their in-basket. So I'm going to take a quick look at what the project activities look like in my in-basket. As you can see here, I'm logged in as Terry Adams. We can see that he has a couple of workflow tasks, which we're going to cover in a little bit. 
but then also a project tax related to that particular project. I can take a look at exactly what I'm expected to do, and in this case, this is what that activity shows up like for me. So if I say I want to complete that task, I get the task completion form, and this is where I actually fill in my details of my time record, attach any deliverables, and essentially move this, move this project along by completing my piece of it.